Hi everyone, my name is Billy Rodianto. I'm working as an IT security consultant for about uh, 20 years. I was a programmer before, a long time ago. Uh, then I became a system administrator, system engineer, network engineer. And when the e was booming in year 1995, I moved or jumped or focused on IT security field. Since that time as well, if I'm not busy with the project or I have time, I also deliver IT security courses in around Asia Pacific, like in uh, Indonesia, Jakarta, Singapore, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Australia, and any other country. Teaching is also courses, mostly in the VA PT track, the vulnerability assessment and penetration testing track, such as, as you know, uh, certified network defender or CND and then Certified Ethical Hacker or CEH and the latest one is the CPEN Certified Penetration Testing Professional I choose to teach CPEN course because it is the next step after CEH as we know in the EC Console PAPD track after you take and pass the CEH exam the next step will be the CPEN right? which is this is the highest level in this track and of course, secondly, is because yes, I have passed the CPEN exam, and so far did I know that I am the first person in the world who passed the exam. So that's the reason why I choose to teach uh, CPEN course. Well, um, in my experience, teaching CPEN course is really interesting and exciting because the content of this course is really wide and deep. It will not only teach you how to perform an effective uh, penetration testing, but also advanced techniques, advanced exploitation, and not to mention that we need to evade the security protection and do that in the enterprise network environment simulation is like in the real world pen testing. In my class, my students normally they were always happy to learn about that and they are really excited and they can't wait for the next topic in the, in the class. The hardest part of the uh, CPEN exam, based on my student feedback, opinion, and my uh, experience, is the one of the topic that about, uh, is about the IoT, Internet of Things, and the binary analysis. I realize and the reason may be uh, because most of us, they don't do that in their uh, daily job. And so that's why, uh, I can say that one is the most hardest part of the exam because they are not usually doing that in their daily job. But um, I can say yes, it's quite difficult, but it's not torturing. <laughs> it looks impossible, but trust me, it can be done. Don't worry. Three things that I like about the CPEN programs is uh, first, it will teach you how to do the real pen test in the real world scenario and in the enterprise network environment right? the enterprise network with a lot of protection knowledge for example uh, there are uh, firewalls there are uh, access control lists there is uh, exit rate security and any other uh, uh, security protection so it's not just a flat network when there's no protection at all but we must deal with the enterprise level network which is in the real world we will do the pen test in the yeah in the same uh, in the same uh, environment, almost like that. In the CPEN program, we will also learn how to do uh, pen testing in the most common uh, requirement in the industry nowadays, such as the uh, operational technology or scalar system and IoT and analysis. And not only that, we will learn how to write your own exploits build your own tools and conduct advanced binary exploitation, double pivoting to access hidden networks and uh, I can say there's so many things that I never learned before. SIP pen program as I can say um, is like a pen testing like no others. Okay, You not only must be able to gain access as an administrator or, root or something like a CTF or style courses uh, as you know, we have uh, another courses and uh, like, uh, but mostly they are uh, focused on the CTF capture the flag. But in the CPEN, you must also be able to analyze the system in the application layer, session layer, or network layer to solve the challenge. So don't focus on just how to capture the flag. 
and the same like others you must be able to analyze and every information that you can get it will help you to solve the challenge for someone or anyone who want to take the CPEN exam my advice is first follow the methodologies and then the process is the key yeah? so my advice is do all the labs at least once the more is better of course yeah? the more you can do the lab the more and you try two or three labs and then try to improve try to create the different scenario yeah? and the other important thing is you must understand every background concept in the labs okay you must understand how it works and then how it how if you change the system and what if there's another uh, scenario try to improve your uh, knowledge or create another uh, type of scenario in the labs eh? and then try all the things until you can grab all the concept all right and then the other important thing is you must document all of your findings okay this is what i see from some students who failed in the exam a lot of them they don't do documentation this is actually important yeah because otherwise you will just waste your time and even sometimes you will can you can get lost when you do another challenge so again documentation is important all right okay so <clears throat> i hope uh, all of this information can give you uh, some insight about the CPEN program and course and how to take the exams and just um, follow my advice just now and don't worry uh, feel free to uh, contact me if you have anything to ask about this program yeah? about the channels about uh, but of course I don't want to give you the <laughs> uh, I will not give you the solution of the challenge but at least I can help you uh, or I can explain to you and how or, or what is the uh, concept behind this uh, topic or behind this challenge. So guys, thank you very much for watching this uh, video and hope to see you guys in my class. Thank you so much and bye-bye.